This video series is to accompany the Cisco Netacad IT Essentials 7.0 course. This is Chapter 8, Printers. In Chapter 8, we're going to look at common printer features, printer type comparisons, installing and configuring printers, sharing printers, and maintaining and troubleshooting printers. Common printer features. Some of the things that you'll see with printers, or there'll be different characteristics, you have speed and quality. Speed can be measured in pages per minute or how fast do they print pages, and quality is measured in dots per inch or DPI. If you have a color printer, it would come in cyan, magenta, and yellow, or CMY, and then black for inkjets is the base or key color. You also have to look at reliability and total cost of ownership, or TCO. You need to look at the warranty that's offered by the manufacturer, the scheduled of service, how, you know, how often do you have to have it serviced, the mean time between failures, or MTBF, and on the total cost of ownership, or TCI, what's the initial purchase price, the cost of consumable supplies, the price per page, pages per month you're going to print, the maintenance cost and the warranty cost, and in particular, if you're going to get like an inkjet printer, the inkjet printers are usually very low cost on initial purchase, but the manufacturers do that on purpose because they really have a high cost to the consumable supplies or to the inkjet um, or to the ink that you have to buy on the cartridges, and that's where they make their money back up. You can also have an automatic document feeder on a printer. That's uh, used with some laser and inkjet models so that feeds paper into the printer. It might provide collation as well. Printer type comparison. When we look at inkjet printer characteristics, they are easy to use. They're cheaper for initial purchase than laser printers. And the advantages are they are low cost on initial purchase. They can come in high resolution. But the disadvantage is some nozzles are prone to clogging. Cartridges can be very expensive, and I mean expensive. You want to look at the cost of replacement cartridges for the ink before you purchase an inkjet printer. And then ink can be wet after printing, if not uh, of good high quality. Some of the parts you'll see on an inkjet printer are the rollers, the cartridge belts, the printer heads, the inkjet cartridges in the paper, the feeder trays, and the duplexing assembly. Laser printer characteristics, the advantages are they have a low cost per page. They have a high page per minute. They have high capacity, they're high quality, they're fast, they use a laser beam or LEDs to create an image, and the print comes out dry. The disadvantage is there's a high initial purchase cost, but and the toner cartridges can be expensive, but in my personal, this is my personal view on it, um, laser jet printers or laser printers, um, or if you're going to be printing a lot for a small business, smaller home business, the laser printer is the better way to go over the long term. Some of the characteristics of a laser printer, you would have the imaging drum, the transfer roller, the fuser assembly, the pickup rollers, the duplexing assembly, and the toner cartridges. Now, how, how a laser printer works, uh, there's seven steps to it. You have the processing that converts the data into a printable form. Then you have the charging. A drum is conditioned for a new image. You then expose it, writing the image to the drum using a laser beam. It then develops it. Toner is applied to the image. It transfers it, the paper rolls through, the image is transferred to the paper, and then you have fusing. Heat and pressure are applied to the paper, which burns it permanently onto the paper. And then you have cleaning, that's excess toner is removed from the drum. With thermal printer characteristics, thermal printers are used in retail as part of the cash register system and with older fax machines. Heat from the print head makes the image on the paper. The advantages are they last a long time due to, due to few moving parts. They're quiet and there's no cost for ink or toner. But the disadvantage is thermal paper is expensive and must be stored at room temperature. And images on the thermal paper degrade over time. They're poor quality and cannot be in color. Impact printer characteristics. Impact printers are the dot matrix or daisy wheel. Um, you may still see these in the workplace. There are some still around. They are still sold. But they have print heads that strike on ink ribbon with a specific number of pins. A higher number of pins means better quality. The advantages are ribbons are less expensive. They can use regular paper or continuous feed paper, and they can print carbon copies. The disadvantage is they're noisy, the graphics are low resolution, and they have limited color capabilities. Now you can set up virtual printer characteristics. You can print to files, you can print to PDF, or you can print to XML paper specification or XPS, or you can print to an image such as a JPEG or a TIFF. We also have cloud printing options. This sends a print job to a remote printer somewhere on the network. Some printing companies have software that can send print jobs to their closest location. Google 
Google Cloud Print allows you to connect your printer to the web and you can send something to your own printer no matter where you're located. When we look at 3D printer characteristics, they're used to create three-dimensional objects. They use plastic filament or other media to create the object. They come with filament spools. You would have your feeder tray or feeder rollers, your axis, your print bed, and your hot end nozzle. Installing and configuring printers. You want to follow the manufacturer's instructions for installing a printer. You want to remove all the packaging material, keep it if there's a return as needed. Sometimes the printer driver is installed before the printer is connected to the computer. And then you want to connect the cable to the printer and computer or, or connect the cable to the printer and computer or connect the network cable and then attach the, attach the power cord. You then want to test all functions included, including double-sided documents, different paper trays, grayscale and color, draft mode, and collation. You want to make sure that the printer is in good, proper working order before you leave it with the customer. Some common configuration settings that you'll have on a printer, the paper type, the print quality, the color printing, grayscale, paper size, orientation, the layout, duplex, or collating. Sometimes you can use the software optimization to change settings on the printer, changing it from portrait to landscape, changing which tray it goes to, changing the paper and quality. Now for hardware optimization, sometimes there's firmware that you need to update on printers. Not very often, but it does happen. And then you can also install printer memory or upgrade the printer memory. Sharing printers. When you go to share a, a printer or configure print sharing, those who connect to the shared printer must have the correct print driver. So Windows can do this automatically. When they go to connect, it should find the right print driver and install it for them. You can also have wi wireless print options. You can use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to pair between computers and printers. You can have print servers. They provide client access to print resources. You can administrate print jobs by storing them in a queue. And you can also provide user feedback. Software print servers are set up on networks. Um, you can use print server software, but the disadvantages is the disadvantages are that sharing a printer might cause slow down slow downtimes or slowing the network down. And if the computer sharing the printer is down, the printer is unavailable to others. You can also have hardware print servers. You can set up a hardware print server, and then other devices from the network can connect to it. You can have dedicated print servers. For example, like for a corporate network, they have a powerful processors attached to them. They have adequate storage space for queued documents. So the documents come in, they get queued up on the print server, and then they get sent out to the appropriate printer when they're available. Maintaining and troubleshooting printers. You want to follow the vendor guidelines for maintaining printers. You want to refer to the documentation that comes with the printer or uh, seek it out on the internet. You want to follow, follow recommended maintenance processes and instructions. And then some manufacturers sell maintenance kits that you install, you, uh, the processor kits, the rollers. You can change those yourself a lot of times. I've, I've changed many of these rollers in my, in my career, um, and they do get worn out over time. And so if you start having problems with the printer, that's some of the things that you might need to do. You might need to replace the paper, clean the heating element with a cotton swab dampened with, this, uh, with alcohol, or what we call rubbing alcohol. You don't want to put the rubbing alcohol directly on the rollers. You want to put it on something and then wipe it. And you can also use compressed air. That should say lint-free. Refer to the printer's documentation again on impact printers. You can replace the ribbon. You can also check character quality. You might need to replace the print head. And we follow the six steps of troubleshooting process like we have in previous chapters. I'm going to just scroll through each one of these and leave them there for a second. When you want to read these questions and open, you want to ask open-ended questions, closed-ended questions. But on each one of these steps, you can pause the video to read these. Some common problems and solutions for printers uh, may not print, uh, the paper jams, uh, toner fusing is not fusing, user receives an access denied, and then there are things that you can do, you, you know, check the documentation, manage the print jobs, canceling the document, making sure the user has access. Some other ones, printer will not print large or complex images, papers creased after printing, multiple failed jobs in the printer log.